Good day. I am reporting to you again from Lukayan Bulls TV. And today we are going to talk about a series that we are going to do on the American Bully Anatomy. And we are going to start with the head. Okay? Specifically, the head shape. Okay? Um, all right. Okay. So let's start, like we said, with the head. Now, straight from the ABKC's website, we have El Toro, okay? This is, this is the standards that I'm going to read to you, just a few of them. I'm not gonna go and read the entire, um, you know, booklet of it, but you, as you can see, El Toro. El Toro has the American bully head shape, okay? It's a big, blocky head. So, obviously, um, the American bully standards have what the American bully's head is supposed to be like. Some people have believed that their preferences are what it should be, but we breed according to the standards, okay? So if you have an American bully and um, his head is like this pit bull to the left of me, oh, sorry, to the right of me, which is has a very small head, very narrow, more terrier-like, that's not what an American bully head is supposed to be like. Also, I'm not picking on these dogs, but they're very good examples. Dogs like Grimm and Rocco, they have circular head shapes that are indications of strong bulldog characteristics. That's not what an American bully head shape is supposed to be like. And definitely, you don't want to go into a definitely abnormal head shape and a skull like Mr. Miyagi. Okay, so the better examples would be dogs like King Kamali, Samurai Paco, Remy Martin, okay? They have distinct heavy heads that are large and broad, okay? Um, you were talking about the eyes. The eyes are supposed to be a particular shape. They're supposed to be oval and almond-shaped not circular. Circular is also an indication and a characteristic that bulldogs have, okay? Um, the ears should be set high, just like how El Toro's is in the picture. And this is straight from the ABKC website. Okay, I think it's abkc.org or something, or, or org.com, but you can find it on Google. Okay, so now we're going to go into the faults, okay, if the, the head is too, the head and the jaw and the muzzle, if the muzzle is too snipey, which is um, closer to a more terrier-like feature, or if the, the muzzle is too short, more like you would see in bulldogs, those are considered to be faults. Um, and those are things that you obviously um, don't want when specifically breeding towards the headpiece, yes. So the head, I'm going to read these two lines. The head should be distinct, heavy, large and broad. The head of the American bully. Medium in length, deep throughout, broad skull, well chiseled with very pronounced cheek muscles. Distinct and deep stop. Now, as we can see with a dog like Dax, he doesn't have those very muscular um, cheek muscles. They are there, the, 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 the cheeks are there, but the muscle definement isn't there. Like I said, not picking on these dogs, but they're just good examples for you to see um, when we're talking about the breed standards, okay? So remember, it also needs to be proportionate to the dog's body and to the dog's height. You don't want a pocket dog that is 14 inches, 15 inches tall with a 27, 28 inch head. I don't even know, I mean, if that even exists, but those are things that you wanna to try to stay away from. Proportion is key. Balance and harmony to the body is key. Um, you want the dog to be almost so proportionate. When you look at dogs like King Kamali and Samurai Paco, they're so proportionate that you can't tell how big their features actually are until you measure them. Paco was like, you know, Marco says Paco is about 14 inches with like a 24, 25 inch head. 
That, that's pretty big for a dog that size, but he's so well proportioned that you just can't tell because everything is in balance. And that is the aim for the American Bully because the standards, as we know from Terrell Quincy, was also written after Samurai Paco himself. Okay, so stay tuned until next time, until we get to the next part of the American Bully Anatomy. And stay tuned because next time we're going to talk about the American Bully um, Anatomy, the neck and the four quarters and the body. So don't forget to comment, to subscribe, to like and share, and read to the standards that we're going to hold the ABKC accountable to. Okay? See you next time. Yeah.